Hi and welcome to this video. My name is Tom and today I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to remove the anti-glare coating from your monitor, turning it from, you know, this matte and dull finish to really nice glossy looking style like the iMac for example. If you want to attempt this, please proceed with caution. Not only it voids your warranty, but you could also destroy your monitor. Well, that's all for me and let's do this. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to disassemble the monitor. I recommend putting a towel uh, on your work desk so we would not scratch or destroy the surface. I have brought some screwdrivers and also car trim removals so we can take it apart. So let's start off with removing this stand right here. All right, so let's now remove the screen from this, the bezel with these interior pry tools. All right, so we got the bezel off. Okay, so now with the bezel removed, we can now proceed to cover the display with paper towels. Make sure they are wet.
All right, so now you have to let it soak for a few hours and then we'll come back. All right, so I let it soak up for a few hours and now let's try to remove the AG layer. So let's remove the wet napkins from the monitor and let's try to remove Wow, there we go. So this is it. This is the diffusion layer right here. You can see if I put it in front of the light, it kind of diffuses it. Wow, all right, there we go. So it's out. Very cool. Well, all right, as you can see, it turned out pretty good. So now let's assemble it back and see if it survived or if it just looks good now. So it seems like I managed to break off uh, the bracket here of the bezel. So, you know, I'm not gonna lose time with it right now. I may try to fix it in the future, but now I'm not able to pop it back in. All right, so as you can see, I did it. This is how it looks with the AG uh, coating layer removed. It looks incredible, nice and glossy, no matte finish. Uh, it looks just like a piece of glass. I'm very, very satisfied and happy about that. The only thing I messed up a little bit here is the bezel, actually. Uh, I just couldn't pop it back into place. I guess I broke some of the brackets here or something. I could have probably fixed that, but I, I just didn't want to waste more time with it. If you like this video, please hit that like button, 
subscribe for more videos like this and uh, see you in the next one.